Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about what depreciation is and then more specifically why we depreciate certain types of assets. So when we think about the definition for depreciation, the thing that most commonly comes to mind is the phrase wear and tear. Now wear and tear basically refers to the fact that certain types of fixed assets, for example buildings, uh, trucks, any kind of vehicle, tools, uh, these things tend to kind of wear down as we use them. For example, if you drive a truck uh, and you drive it 100,000, 200,000 miles, it's not going to be in the same condition that you have when you, when you originally had it. You know, a building is a lot nicer when it's brand new. So what happens is these things, they as we use them, the use leads to a decline in value. And that decline in value is the depreciation. When something goes up in value, we say that it appreciates in value. Depreciation is referring to the decline in value. So what assets from a financial statement point of view do we depreciate? Well, mainly we're talking about fixed assets here. But not all fixed assets because, for example, we do not depreciate land because land at least historically has tended to go up in value although don't tell that to anybody with an underwater mortgage uh, so machines and these other things what we have to do is every year every month or quarter whatever our financial statement period is we're going to go ahead and make adjusting journal entries to record depreciation or a decline in value associated with those assets as we use them up so Let's use an example. So for our example, we'll take we'll take a truck. So example. So let's say we buy this truck and the cost is let's say ten thousand dollars that this truck costs. We buy it, we buy it brand new, we get a good deal, we buy a ten thousand dollar truck, and we're going to start a moving company. We're gonna move furniture and other items for people. Uh, and, and we're going to use this truck to haul those things around. And so with this truck, we have to come up with an estimate of how long we think this truck is going to last. We call that the useful life. So the useful life, that how long we think this truck is going to last, is, we say five years. Now there's also something called salvage value, how much we think the truck is, is going to be worth at the end. But let's not worry about that right now, all right? Let's just talk about kind of looking at why we would we would go ahead and depreciate this ten thousand dollars as opposed to, for example, just taking it all as an expense in the very first year that we buy the asset. So let's go ahead and let's set up a diagram here. And let's say we've got we've got the year. So we've got the five years here. We got year one, two, three four, five, didn't leave myself a lot of space, but okay, and then we've got revenue, so the sales that we generate from our moving company in every period, and then we've got expenses associated with our moving, and we're just going to assume the truck right now to make this easy, and then we've got our profit or loss in each period. So again, we're just going to look at just let's just assume that the only expense we have here is this truck and and that's the only thing we're using to generate revenue so let's assume that we don't depreciate this truck all right well the alternative is we just take this ten thousand dollars and we say okay well we paid ten thousand dollars for this truck let's just let's just book it as an expense so we'll just put it here and instead of ten thousand i'm just gonna put ten this is all in in thousands here and, and let's say that our revenue that we make from using this truck, let's say that's $5,000 each year. So every year we make $5,000 of this truck. But in the first year, we have this $10,000 expense when we buy the truck. But in years two through five, we already own the truck. Remember, we think it'll last five years. So we're not, we're not buying more trucks here. We're just using the same truck. So we have no expense there associated with the truck. So what's going to be our profit or loss in each period? Well, in the first period, when we buy the truck, we've got a loss of 5000 
but in each other period we don't have any expense at all because remember we're just we're just assuming that the truck is the only thing we've got going on here so every year we make five thousand dollars okay now let's take a look at an alternative scenario where we've got this basically the same deal here we've got five periods let me just have a little more space five periods but in this in this example let's spread the cost of this truck this ten thousand dollars that it cost. let's spread it evenly over the five years let's and, and, and that's what we're doing when we said we're depreciating it this is a specific type of depreciation it's called straight line there are many ways to depreciate it but let's just spread it evenly so okay our sales will be the same our revenue is going to be the same so it's, it's five thousand a year And let me let me change colors here just to illustrate this this difference here. So now, instead of just taking that ten thousand in the year that we buy the asset, we're going to spread it evenly. So ten divided by five years. Uh, so ten divided by five, that's going to equal two. So we're taking two thousand dollars in expense every year instead of ten in the first year and then nothing thereafter. So every year, we're just going to we're going to match this. This is what's called matching expenses with the periods in which they're used to generate revenue. So instead of just saying, oh, well, let's we'll take this 10000 and dump it all in the first year, we're saying, no, we're going to use this asset for five years, so let's match the cost of the asset, this 10000 with the periods, the years, in which it's used to generate revenue. So what are we going to have here? We're going to have a profit in each period of $3,000. Now, let's assume for a minute that you do that, that someone's taking a look at your financial statements, whether it be a bank or some outside investor, and they don't know about you purchasing the truck or what you did. They just see the, the profit or loss. They just look at the bottom line and they want to say, is this a profitable company or is it not? Well, if you look up here, let, let me, if you look up here, what it looks like, if you just look at this this part here it looks like you had one bad year followed by four good years but is that really what happened I mean you were using the same truck you're getting the same sales every year you're using the same truck you basically had the same five years from what it looks like it's just it's just this this thing that you didn't spread that cost of the truck so in these periods it looks like you really didn't didn't have to spend any money to make any money but that's not true you did spend money you bought the truck and it just so happened that the truck lasts longer than one year so here in this bit when you go and you say okay well I'm just gonna now you see when when you spread this when you depreciate the asset and you spread the cost over time now we see that we've properly matched the expense of the truck the cost of that truck with all the years the five years in which we use it to generate sales there would be no sales in years two through five without that truck we had bought in year one so we match these things together and we end up with a very even distribution of profit which is actually what's happening we have the same sales every year we use the same truck every year it makes sense that in this case we would have the same profit every year so we depreciate assets so that we can match the cost of this fixed asset, the truck, with the periods of time, the years in which we use it to generate sales.